I thought I would try my experience or my enjoyment of the music is the tinkering. Tonight in the um, basement lab, we are going to replace the Seymour Duncan Invader pickup with a bare knuckle war pig. Um, for this, I'm going to use Reaper. I have the guitar connected into a radial J48 DI box. And then I have um, two notes of the lead going into a second channel on my uh, interface. The, uh, the parent track is like a master. And then these are slave to record on slave channels. So what this helps us do, so when I click on the arm on the parent folder, it just arms the other ones. So with this setup, do clean tone first. Go to high game mode. First thing to do, we've got a detention strings. Okay, we're back after uh, slacking the strings. Uh, this is the guitar with the backing removed. So over here, this is the, the Seymour Duncan Invader uh, that was in the guitar. This is my favorite pickup. I keep using these, and this is the new bare knuckle uh, war pig pickup. So now it's just a matter of uh, putting this in and soldering it up. Okay, now it's finally back together. So now uh, we're going to go back to Reaper. So now I'm just going to go duplicate tracks. So what I'll do is I'll play along with this. I'll, I'll change record mode to record time selection auto punch. So the region.
I was a little bit off, but... yellow after green let's just listen to just the dry of the di from before again same knob settings for everything so this should be just the differences in, in pickups uh, the new pickup is a little bit hotter before <laughs> natural sustain like without the sustain the act there and I, I don't think I I muted it I think that was just it trailing off okay um, let's listen to the dry after <laughs> I see more more amplitude a little louder but also this is interesting to me it's I see like I guess the sustainer ring through there is a little better what I'm going to do now pan the after dry entirely to right and the before dry entirely to left and now I'm going to solo them <laughs> Right away, the new one does sound a little brighter. So left is before and right is after. So right away, I right here. I can see lots of spikies, um, but there's definitely more. See, the other one has a very sharp fall off. Not sharp, but I mean, it starts to gradually fall off around 1K hertz. The bass response is about the same. I mean, for the amplitudes. The new one has slightly more presence of something after the 1K hertz and 2K hertz. It doesn't gradually taper off as much. Let's go and listen to the sound through the amplifier of the original one. The original pickup through my pedal. This is much different than the real one. It just sounds a little brighter yet again. Uh, let's listen to the new pickup through the same pedal amp. Really like that sustain that's neat uh, it does feel a little tighter not, not really in a good way that i would want it to be for um, for clean tone before and after through the amp and we'll have a look at what they look like so here it's slightly more 
information around, say, 7.5 kHz. In fact, the other one seems to drop off entirely around 4K, whereas on the new one, we just have more stuff above 4K. Other than that, I notice the, the fall off or the slope downward after the 1K is a little that, that we saw before. My point is we don't see that roll off effect because the amp is kind of like undoing or hiding that. So I mean, it's the, pick, the, the pickup on its own looks a lot looks a lot more different than it really is in practice when you run it through the same amplifier because the colorization of the preamp is gonna. I don't know, add or change the character enough that it's it's diluting the effects of the pickup on its own. Let's move on to this one. This is a different type of piece where I'm just using a pick instead of finger picking. Um, I'm letting the notes ring out, so this is a single note. Well, two notes here, but this is a single, a single low E right here. Um, so both the before and after, like, I mean, sometimes when I change pickups, I look for, uh, let's zoom this in some more. This, this is what I look for. See, there's like, um, the fundamental frequency is the big, uh, the main big curve. But it's this little nuances in here. These are those higher frequencies or higher order harmonics um, that the pickup, that's the character of the pickup itself. And again, this is the DI before, DI after. Like the waveform and see this little, like, you know, when, I don't want to say bumpies, but I mean, see here. The, just the E string on its own. This was probably just because there's slightly more higher frequency components coming through. So it's affecting or changing the character of the wave during this uh, like relative peak here. And of course, between wave cycles, this is that higher frequency stuff, which I don't know, I may or may not want. And this is also, you can see here, the amplifier is well, it's enhancing that small little ripples. Like this is the new, to me, this is the new ripple that wasn't there before. Those higher frequencies, probably above the 4K hertz. And the amplifier is putting those through. And then the roll off of the amplitude as the note loses its state. I should have just struck the open string and looked at it, actually. That would have been a useful test. Um, but here, see, it doesn't look like it rolls off as fast. Again, I'm having slightly more sustain that's neat sides before that was on the left and I do hear the right hand side now it does sound like darker to me and less trebly um, which is consistent with what I noticed before because these are both clean tests just one with fingers one with picks um, let's listen to like, this is what the amp is doing uh, before <laughs> lots of pops of the picking okay listen to the amp after it sounds more scratchy but also less confused with like less muddy I guess is the word I'm looking for I hate using words to describe this it's just I don't know it sounds a little better to me now I want to listen to them both. So let's put one to the left and one to the right. And solo. Let's 
So the left ear sounds more staticky to me. Which one is that? Ah, okay, that's the before. Okay, good. See this random nonsense I do with fiddling with settings and not even paying attention to it. And I'm like, I'm actually doing a blind test myself as I do it. So now let's go back and listen to the before with a cabinet simulator. <laughs> Sounds all right. Let's listen to the after with the cab sim. Okay, so mistakes aside, um, I think that sounds a little clearer, less, slightly less muddy than before, which is, that's the point of playing this out, is to see if I can change my sound to make it just a little bit uh, better than it was. That's, um, um, I think for now, I'm going to just save all this reaper project, and I'm going to um, try hooking up different pedals and different effects, and uh, see how I can... Well, see what I can do with it. Thank you for watching.